So how's the offseason been for you? It's been good. Uh, you know, obviously uh, a lot of excitement, you know, with everything that, that went on towards the end there, but uh, and it's been short. But uh, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to getting back down there and, and getting going. I think uh, there's a lot of excitement around this ball club after everything that uh, that went on right there at the end. It went from excitement to a little bit of uh, uh, sadness with Tony, and then you know, obviously Albert leaving um, brought some uh, some questions. But I'm excited about this team. I'm excited about the opportunity that we're going to have. Uh, um, we got a, a bunch of good guys, <coughs> a bunch of good players. You know, uh, losing Albert's a big big thing, but uh, you know. That is the game. It is what it is, and uh, the things that he brought to this organization and this community are are enormous, and, and he should be praised for that, not uh, not beat up for it. And uh, uh, hopefully, uh, they'll they'll welcome him back at some point in time. But uh, that, you know, like I said, it is the game, and uh, guys are excited about this team, excited about the change, excited about Mike, excited about uh, Beltran. Obviously, getting Wayno back. So, I mean, there's a lot of excitement. I think uh, going into this uh, this season, especially with what what we were able to accomplish last year. I had a couple guys say that you're the leader on this team. That while it's disappointing to lose Albert, they said we're fine. Carps here. He's our leader. How does your role as a leader change with with Albert being gone? Uh, I, uh, my, my my role's never changed, even with him here. Uh, I think that uh, we work together as uh, as trying to control the things that, that we need to control but uh, we've got so many quality guys in that clubhouse that uh, you know it doesn't matter you get uh, myself you get uh, Wayno stepping up I think Yadi's going to have a huge presence in that clubhouse this year with uh, taking over a, a role that uh, he might not have been 100% used to but uh, I think he's going to evolve into that that leader that we need that uh, you know you got Matt you got Lance you got Beltran now. I mean, you got all kinds of guys in there that, that, that know how to lead and know how to play the ball game. So uh, I'm not concerned about uh, any leadership stuff going on in there. How huge is it to get Plano back into the rotation? Yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going on when we get down here, see how he's looking. I've talked to him a few times. He said he feels great. Uh, you know, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, a lot of ex expectations about Cy Young, Adam Wainwright. And, uh, you know, I, I hope 100% that happens. But, yeah, everybody has to remember that uh, he's coming off uh, – uh, major surgery hasn't pitched in a year or more, and uh, this is going to take time. So I, I hope that uh, the expectation level that's put on him is, is also understood. That uh, he just he is coming back from surgery, and he's going to it's going to take some time to get back to his form. I think he'll be great, but uh, I just hope that uh, it's also known that you know that that's there's, it takes time. Having gone through that, what are the limitations? Uh, you know, early on or throughout the whole season, is, is it a thing where you get stronger kind of every month away from the surgery? Yeah, uh, no question about that. I think that uh, as you throw, the more pitches you throw, those those everyday sorenesses go away. Um, uh, you get more comfortable mechanically, obviously. I mean, again, you know, uh, you think about if you, you do something uh, every day for your whole life and then stop and you're not able to do that for months, uh, it's going to take time to, to get feeling right and get your mechanics back in, in sync and, and getting comfortable on the mound and, and doing all those things. Uh, if anybody can do it, it can. I know he can. Uh, but at uh, limitation level, I, there is none. His, his arm's healthy. Uh, you know, that's why they do the surgery and they fix it so he can go out and pitch again and he'll be fine. What about you? You threw a lot of pitches and getting mm -hmm. less time to recover because of the fact you guys won. Mm -hmm. um, how do you approach this next season and getting the work you need, but letting the arm rest like you need to? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel good. I started throwing uh, two weeks ago, and everything feels good. I, you know, I've always said that uh, you can't control, uh, you know, what happens. I'm gonna, I've worked my butt off. Uh, I continue to work my butt off, and, and everything feels good. Um, I'm excited about uh, to going into this season. Uh, the inning, I, I train. That's why I, I train the way I do, is to, so I can throw those innings and be strong um, and recover properly. Um, uh, we'll see what happens when I get to spring training. The two weeks ago, is that a normal time for you, or is that a little later? No, I always start throwing just right after the new year. Mm -hmm. with, with that, the way you change your training a little bit, are you seeing the differences now coming off a season where you did more and are getting an earlier start? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I said, I feel good. I, my shoulder feels better now than it did last year when it gets going. I mean, there's always a week or so when you start you start getting that ball going that, that uh, 
you know, there's some, some aches and pains and some stuff breaking up in there that, uh, that needs to get, get uh, back in sync. But uh, my shoulders felt good uh, the last week and a half playing catch. And, and I'm, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to, to having a lot of fun this year. What about your toe? There was a lot of in that blog entry about stubbing your toe. On yeah, your media guys are unbelievable, man. <laughs> Blowing stuff all out of proportion. Uh, my toe's fine. I uh, bumped it a little bit. Yeah. And I, I wrestled anacondas everywhere too, which is not true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, none of that was true, but uh, um, I'm fine. So, nothing. The holiday thing that was totally false. Can you just tell no, me the story is true. Uh, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't on the boat that uh, ran into it. Doc was. Skeet Reese was. Uh, Skeet's when to start the whole thing, blogging about it on his blog. But uh, um, I guess, I, like I said, uh, we would all meet up. After the uh, after the trip, there was four boats that went out and go fishing. And after the trip, or after the day, you really wouldn't see anybody throughout the day because you're out fishing throughout the jungle and doing whatever. And then you'd meet up at the big houseboat that we slept on at night uh, before dark. And all the guides were supposed to be back at before dark. And 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 then we'd have dinner at 6:30 and go to bed and get up at five in the morning to do it again. And uh, the two boats didn't show up until like 6.30 and then they would all meet up and tell all the stories and I guess what ended up happening is uh, uh, one of the boats was coming back and came upon an overturned boat and a bunch of clothes and <coughs> buckets and debris in the water and looked over and there was a naked guy sitting in the tree. So they went over and talked to him with a guide because they couldn't and what came of it is he got attacked by an anaconda and Pulled, started to pull him in. He grabbed onto the engine. The engine ripped off, so he slipped out of his shorts because it grabbed him on the butt. And uh, he swam to the shore and sat in a tree to get away from him. And they uh, gave him a pair of shorts, went into the river, flipped the boat over, got all his stuff, and towed him back to wherever he had to go. And uh, that was the story. So the carpet's been a normal off season for you, then? Yeah, <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Did you see some anacondas? I mean, as you're fishing, no. did you see any that have that stuff? No, they said uh, they, they're they very difficult to find, and we asked the guide if we could go find one to see one, and they said, no, it's too dangerous. We said, okay, we'll believe you. Carp, have you talked to Doug since he took his leave? Uh, I've texted him back and forth, and I'm going to uh, leave him until he's ready to call me. He knows how I feel about him and his, his wife and his family, and uh, um, he's a special man, and hopefully uh, everything will be will work out good and we'll see him back in this organization doing something uh, something special soon. What kind of impact will his absence have on you personally but also do you think just on the, the staff? Well I mean he, he, he has instilled so many things in, in a lot of us that uh, I'm not sure that uh, we'll ever forget so I, I mean we, we know what we're doing we know what his philosophies are we know what uh, what we're supposed to do to, to be successful. Um, the other thing that being said, Lily's been around Dunk forever too, big league camps uh, ever since I've been here. So uh, Lily knows what's going on also. Uh, Lily knows what what uh, Dunk's philosophies are, what the uh, how to how to be successful in those in those sort of things. So I think it's going to be a little transition, but uh, uh, I think it's going to work out just fine. So what kind of things do you expect to change under Matheny and Lilliquist? You pretty much know Tony and Dunk since you came over to the Cardinals. Yeah. I think you expect to be different this year. I'm, I have no idea. I can't answer that question until we go into it. Uh, I know that Mike's going to be prepared. I mean, I've known Mike before you guys knew Mike. Uh, I played with him in Toronto. So um, he's a special man, great leader, positive guy, uh, excited, uh, prepared. Uh, not that you can replace Tony La Russa, but I'm not sure you could pick a better guy to, to lead this organization. Uh, and I know that he's excited about it. I know the players in the clubhouse are excited about it. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being able to see his face every day and see what he has to bring to this team. Um, and like I said, I think Lily is going to step in knowing Dunk's philosophy. So you, you know, we'll see what happens when it, when it goes, but we all dealt with Lily for the last few months of last year, so, and he did a great job. Will that be weird at all with Mike being the manager if he played with them, former team? I mean, you know, he's in a different role now. Yeah, um, I don't think so. Uh, I'm a respect guy, though, so I, I, I mean, I, I, I respect Mike more than anything in the world, just like I expect, uh, respected Tony and Dunk. Uh, I respect guys that uh, that uh, are my bosses. I, I do what they tell me. I, I, you're not going to question, argue. Uh, he's the boss, and uh, it's going to be fun to have him my boss because he's a great guy.